Now I'm going to show you how to change the sky with one click using Luminar 4. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and welcome to another exciting tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Luminar 4 on these different photos and change the sky to something that is more exciting and dramatic maybe. Now before I dive in, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. Now Luminar 4 comes in as a standalone app, but also it offers a plugin that you can use in Photoshop. This way you can integrate it into your workflow without having to add Luminar effects at the beginning or the end of your workflow. So I have this photo that I shot of my beautiful um, capital city, Manama, Bahrain, and I'm going to filter, head to Skylum and then Luminar 4. And now you're looking at the interface of Luminar 4. If you look at the right, this is exactly what you would find in Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. And they have different tabs. This tab is specifically for the essential, the basic adjustments. You know, things like the exposure, the light, the temperature, highlights, shadows, and stuff like that. Also offers a very neat AI enhancement that you can enhance the photo with just a single slider like so. But I'm not going to go into these details. I've covered them in uh, my previous video about Luminar 3. I'll leave a link to it at the description below. Make sure to check it out. So I'm going to head to the creative tab and that's where we have the sky replacement option here. Now here's the beauty of Luminar 4. It comes with pre-packed skies that you can select and add to your shots. So if I cycle through, now these are not realistic obviously um, because this is a night shot and these are daylight photos. But let me just cycle through some of them and what we're interested in is one of these four. Oh wow, look at this. This is so gorgeous and beautiful. Um, and by the way, if you can't find a specific sky that fits your photo, you can always load your own custom image and it will apply it to your photo just like this one here. Now let's have a look at the other options. The Galaxy 2, this is gorgeous, Starry Night. I kind of like that. And two. Honestly, these are all cool backgrounds, but I'm gonna stick to one. Let's go to Galaxy 2, and I'm um, gonna stick with this one. Now, let me explain what these does. And notice we've almost done, we are actually done. That's it, boom, it's there. We replaced the sky. That's the beauty of Luminar 4. The AI is object aware, human aware and it will try its best to uh, place the sky correctly. Now, in case you wanted to fine tune your um, sky replacement, then you have these sliders options on the right. So let's start with the horizon blending. And the horizon blending just smoothens up the transition between the old sky to the new one. So if I drag this all the way up, let's leave it there more there you go you can see there is a transition happening between the old to the new and i kind of kind of like how that looks you know you, you can have that amount of stars going down you know it kind of fades towards you know approaching earth i would say so blending is kind of cool uh and helps smoothens that transition up so i'm going to keep it somewhere around here there you go. Now Luminar 4 here will try to automatically position your um, sky, but if you want to position it yourself, then you can using this slider over here. But I kind of like where it was. With every sky that you select to replace your original sky, Luminar will try and um, relight the scene, actually changing the entire lighting and the color cast. So. If I push this all the way, relight the scene all the way to the right, then it will 
try and um, get all the lighting and, and the casting uh, of the sky reflected on your image. So I've got to keep it somewhere around here. Now the sky global and what it really is, is just the amount of texture from the new sky should be applied on the photo. And the more we add, the more texture there will be. But I just find that 30 is actually a good number. Otherwise it starts overlapping. So if I bring that back, there you go. That's good. That's better. So these were the basic settings of this AI sky replacement. And if we click on advanced, then we have more. Now close gaps really helps closing down smaller, let's say details that the AI software were able to fill. For example, trees or wires or these small, you know, objects. And um, what I can see from our image, it's perfect. And we don't need to use that for now. And the sky local is just to control how many objects from the new sky or the old sky are being replaced by the new sky. And since my sky was pale, there isn't really much that you can see, even if I put the slider towards the end at 100%. But if there were clouds, then that dictate how many clouds from the original sky are being replaced by the new one. And of course, we have an option to blur the background or the sky using the sky defocus. I'm just going to keep it as it is. We can flip the sky if we wanted to flip it. And we can add an atmospheric haze. Yeah, it doesn't work here, but you have that option and you can control the temperature so you can either make it cooler or warmer. Can I like the cool one? And towards the end you can control the exposure of the entire sky and set it to your liking. And if you think you need even more control then you have an edit mask option which you can grab a brush, for example, start masking in or out. Uh, and that's really um, powerful. Very, very powerful. And of course, you have other masking options. There is radial, gradient, or luminosity. All right, let's click apply and have a look at that. All right, so let's have a look at the before. This is the before and this is the after. Before and after, absolutely gorgeous. Let's zoom in, let's see. If we have anything that needs to be fixing. Now, always remember, always use smart filters when you use filters. So that gives you the flexibility of going back and adjusting the values, which I didn't do right here. But overall, I think the AI software did a great job. I think one of the things that I would do is increase the horizon blending. So I get rid of these because they are very closer to the ground. All right, so moving forward with our other shot, I'm going to go to Filter and Skyland Luminar 4. Now let's head to the Creative tab and go to the Sky Replacement. All right, let's select our sky and this time it's going to be one of those dramatic skies. So this kind of looks cool. Let's cycle through some until we find something. All right, so I'm going to use this guy and let's blend in the horizon like so. I think that is okay. Let's uh, see what happens. Nope, I'm just going to keep this as it is. Bring in more of the sky maybe like so. I don't see any gaps, any issues. That's absolutely fine. Maybe let's warm that up just a tad and maybe bring down the exposure like so and there we go we're done let's click apply <laughs> so let's have a look at the before this is the before this is the after before after amazing all right YouTube so I've left an affiliate link to Luminar 4 in the description below make sure to check it out now if you have any questions please leave me a comment in the comment section below make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and check me out on instagram and i'll see you in the next video